Don't be afraid, carnivores. It's a 21-pound giant primal whole bone-in prime rib. I'm gonna show you how to break this down to make a bunch of meals and save a fortune on the beef that you buy at home. Hey, welcome to Eat More Vegans. My name is Al. You probably figured out by the big piece of beef on the table that this is not a vegan cooking show. This is a carnivore barbecue show, and uh, we call it Eat More Vegans because we eat beef that was grass and grain fed and pork that was raised on corn or acorns and all kinds of other lamb and goat and animals like that. They were all raised as vegans, and I like to cook and eat them and show you guys how. So if that's your jam, hopefully you'll join us by subscribing on YouTube, uh, by following us on Instagram, Facebook, even a TikTok channel is blowing up. So by the way, I'm gonna put on this apron, which unfortunately covers up my Eat More Vegans logo, so you can pay attention to that. But there's a special shout out for this. This is not a sponsor thing. Uh, this is an apron that was given to me as a gift by my friends Mike and Lanny for Christmas. And that was before I got serious about keto. And uh, I didn't tell them, but it didn't fit. And now, 46 pounds later, I can actually close the strap in the back and I can wear this apron while I'm butchering. So thank you Mike and Lanny for this. And thank you to all of the fans who've shown us such great support through uh, my transition to keto eating and supporting all of this weight loss. There's a bunch more pounds to go, so stick around, you can see how much more I lose. Okay, let's get started. This is a 21 pound G1 certified. G1 is the certification they use for Angus beef, USDA prime bone in wow. ribeye. Now these, uh, I, I got this from Meat and Bone. If you've been here before, you know Meat and Bone sponsors some of my videos. They didn't sponsor this one. I paid for this one out of my pocket. Why? Because I'm a customer. I was a customer before uh, they became a sponsor. I'm a big fan. Um, but this is gonna be an amazing piece of beef. I've done this before. Let's go ahead and uh, start getting it open while we're talking. So one of the things I like about this meat from Meat and Bone is it's really incredible quality, but it's also at a really good price. Now they give a discount to fans of Eat More Vegans. If you use discount code EMB10, you get 10% off of anything that you buy. But even without that coupon, this costs about $21 a pound. And that sounds like a lot of money when you do the math, $420, $430 for a 21 pound uh, bone in ribeye. But you're not gonna find prime Angus beef for less than $27, $28 a pound, usually more in the stores or from the mail order folks. Um, so it's actually a really good price. And when you take that 10% discount, you're talking about around $19 a pound or less than that, probably $18 a pound. It works out really well to get super high quality beef. This is incredibly marbled beef. Um, boy, I'm really impressed. This is even better than the last one that I cooked. As I get started, I need to thank our friends at Dahlstrong for sponsoring this video. They actually provided some beautiful knives that I'm gonna use for the first time in this video uh, to butcher this prime rib. Uh, this is the six inch boning knife uh, from their Shogun series. And this is the 10 inch breaking knife, uh, breaking butcher's knife, which we'll use uh, to cut, make the larger cuts. I've been using Dahlstrong knives and you see my whole collection behind me since long before I started the channel. I'm a huge fan of their products and they're a huge fan of Eat More Vegan. So we decided to partner and start upgrading the knives to these new Japanese knives. If you wanna learn more about these, uh, I published a video just a couple of days ago. I'll put a link in the description to the video as well so that you can uh, get a feel for these knives. And by the way, part of the deal that I worked out is they're giving you guys a discount. So just use code EMV10 at dollstrong.com and you can get a 10% discount on these already pretty reasonably priced knives. So let's get started breaking down the ribeye. So, you can see that one side is much bigger than the other side. So this side over here, this is the, the loin side. So any further out, this is where we're getting our New York strips from. So you notice the shape of this, it's kind of oval. And if I turn this around, this is the chuck end. And so from the chuck end, I've got a much bigger ribeye cap. I've got a round uh, eye of the ribeye and uh, the meat is gonna be a little bit different from one end to the other. It's still the ribeye muscle, so it's still gonna be just as marbled and wonderful, but you're gonna see some differences in the steaks and what we do. So let's start by just cleaning up this fat cap. Now I don't wanna take all of the fat off of here. All I'm doing is cleaning this up a little bit to make it easier for us to get to it. Pick off some of this hard fat here. I barely even need my knife for that. Okay. So the uh, first cut that we're gonna make here is I'm gonna take this seven bone prime rib and I'm gonna get a three bone prime rib cut out of it because that's really the size that you're gonna make for your family of four and still have some leftovers. You can make this whole thing as a prime rib and uh, 
uh, and I've done that. I did that for, uh, for dinner for the holidays, but that's feeding a huge party. So I'm gonna start with coming from this side here, from the loin end, and the reason is we're gonna preserve some of the ribeye cap that's down here uh, for something else I'll show you in a little bit. So let's go ahead and we're gonna cut right in between the bones. Boy, this knife is going through this like butter. So here is our three bone ribeye and you can see really clearly the ribeye cap on this side. You can see the eye of the ribeye, right? And uh, when I turn this into a ribeye, which I'll do that in a separate video, I'll actually French it, take the meat out from around the bones and prepare this for uh, presentation. The next cut that I wanna get out of here is a cowboy ribeye. So a cowboy ribeye is a bone-in ribeye steak. Boy, it's the way to serve a ribeye. It's, uh, it's manly, it's meaty, the bone is wonderful. Shy of doing this as a tomahawk, doesn't really get much better than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this as a nice roughly two inch wide and take one more bone here. And this is gonna be a giant cowboy steak that I will also do a video on for you. Okay, look at the marbling on this. You can see the cap really well defined, the eye really well defined. We're gonna trim when I make that video, I'll trim this fat around here. The, this stuff isn't uh, needed and we'll expose the bone for a really nice presentation. So the next thing we're gonna do is break this down into a number of dinner steaks. So I'm gonna start by just peeling this fat back. Even with those beautiful knives, I'm just gonna do this with my fingers, it's easier. And by the way, there's less risk of kind of over cutting and over trimming when we're just pulling this back this way. And if you need to make small cuts, you make small cuts to be able to pull and separate. And as I get under the uh, fat and silver skin here that separates the ribeye cap from the eye, you're gonna see that it literally just comes off. So let's talk about the ribeye cap. Now you can get the uh, full length of the ribeye as a ribeye cap. Uh, this is the most well marbled, the most tender part of the ribeye. Now I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna take off the fat and I'm gonna take off the silver skin from this. So you can see kind of what's inside. Okay, so this is our ribeye cap. Now I want you to take a close look at the marbling of this steak. So this is crazy, like this looks like Wagyu steak, but this is that Angus product that is uh, USDA Prime. You know what I'm gonna do? I, uh, I'm gonna do, you've seen my Is Wagyu Worth It uh, videos. If you've been here before, if you haven't, you should check them out. I think I, I have a, a Wagyu ribeye cap from another company in the freezer. I think I'm gonna defrost that and uh, do an Is Wagyu Worth It and see if maybe this Prime is uh, gonna be as good. And when we make it, we're gonna roll it up like this, we're gonna tie it up, we'll cut it into steaks, and then uh, we'll be able to cook those steaks and compare it to the other ribeye cap that I've got. So that'll make a really good video. So let's put this over here on the side as well. Now as we continue working here, you can see I've got this nice, well-defined eye of the ribeye here. We're just gonna pull the fat off of here from this edge, and then we'll go work on the other side. Now this other side on top of the bone, where all this fat is, the meat underneath it is called the tail. And that's meat that we're gonna use, but we're not gonna use it in our ribeye steaks. That's, that's not gonna work out really well. So let's go ahead and take this whole fat piece and the tail off. The next step I'm gonna remove these bones and uh, get uh, out of here what you'll see in the store as uh, beef back ribs. So I'm just gonna take the boning knife, I'm gonna come in along the bone and I'm gonna leave a little bit of meat on there because I'm gonna cook these as back ribs. If you guys want me to make a video on that, let me know, put uh, something in the comments and I'll uh, make a video on how to make beef back ribs. I gotta tell you guys, working with this Japanese steel is such a pleasure. I mean, I know they're sponsoring the video, but guys, this is something else. So here are our beef back ribs. Looks like I left a little bit more meat on here than I intended to, but don't worry, we will put that to use as well. Okay, 
So here's our back ribs. We'll put these on the side. All right, now what we have left here is the eye of the ribeye. And this is when we talk about a ribeye, a ribeye fillet, this is the eye, right? And then we've got a little bit of this other muscle here called the complexus, which uh, you're not gonna find any recipes online for how to make a complexus, because it's a tiny piece of meat, but tell you what, it makes a great pitmaster snack. It's something for you. Don't bother freezing it. Just get it on the grill or get it in a cast iron skillet and enjoy it because it's delicious. Okay, so I've got the eye trimmed up uh, or the portion of the eye from the three bones that were left. And uh, while I was doing that, I pulled the rest of the tail off. Um, I can uh, trim this up and this is gonna make for great kebabs or stir fry. I'm not gonna make steaks out of that but you are gonna make steaks out of this eye. So you notice this looks a lot like a tenderloin, but with better marbling. And that's kind of what the experience is gonna be. This is super tender meat, not a working muscle. I'm gonna cut this into steaks as well. And I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller, probably inch and a half steaks. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got five ribeye fillets. This is like a filet mignon from the eye of the ribeye. This one's about seven ounces. These bigger ones are almost nine ounces. So this is gonna make a great dinner for a family of five or for a family of four and uh, some good leftovers, right? We've got the complexus that is gonna be the snack for you and for me. I'm gonna fry this up tonight uh, in a cast iron skillet. We've got the ribeye cap that, uh, this stuff, by the way, if you're gonna buy ribeye cap separately, it's gonna be about 50 bucks a pound for prime ribeye cap. So taking this off of a roast that you can get for 18 or 19 bucks a pound, uh, that's quite the deal. We've got the uh, beef back ribs that uh, if enough of you comment, I will make a video about. We've got the tail here that again, I'm gonna cut this up and turn this into probably kebabs, maybe stir fry. That's uh, 18 ounces, so a little bit over a pound for that. I've got this massive two inch cowboy steak. Uh, that is 41 ounces, so crazy, right? And then we've got this three bone prime rib that we'll be filming a prime rib video on. And that is 113 ounces, seven pound uh, three bone prime rib right there. And then we've got all of this fat and extra trimmings. The trimmings are gonna end up as ground beef, but the fat I'm gonna turn into tallow. If you don't know how to make tallow, I'll put a link to the uh, tallow video right there so you can see uh, how you can make tallow at home and not have to waste any of the fat. And you can even put the silver skin right in with the fat when you make the tallow because it's not gonna render and it'll just uh, strain out as a solid. So what we have here is zero waste. All of this comes together. This is this cost a little over $400 for the whole rib. I've probably got six or $700 at retail value worth of uh, meat out of here. Save a ton of money and boy, look at the quality of this. So don't forget, by the way, you've got a 10% off from Dahlstrong. You've got 10% off from Meat and Bone, both with code EMV10. And I'll put the links in the description so you don't even have to write it down or remember it. If you enjoyed this, check out this video right here where I broke down a whole tenderloin. I actually got that one from Costco. And if you've already seen that one, check this one out down here. I think you're gonna like it. And we'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans.